I bet you are living by selling your labor, so let me pose a general question. How would your labor fare under the new regime of modern monetary theory and economic planning, let's say of the Green New Deal? To answer this question, we need to juxtapose the central planner with the classical capitalist system where the entrepreneur borrows from a bank where your savings are and buys your labor. He is most concerned with the utility of labor, that is the ability, to make a surplus on your labor, so that he can repay his loans and the cost of your labor, because if the cost of your labor is too large in respect to the global market, he might default of his loans from the banking system where your savings are. Ergo, if the bank failures are massive your savings might be wiped out. This is just set up like an ecosystem, any changes in these above-mentioned variables drive it out of balance, but the changes also cause restorative forces to right the ship of an economy without destruction of the system itself as long as it was not placed too far from the point of equilibrium. But what if the economy is run by central planners, just like Green New Deal could be run, as there is yet not economical sense in adopting solar panels and wind farms. Yes. Nuclear beats them all, but the elite wants to close the nuclear option window, as no new plants are being built and old ones are being closed. The availability of capital for its adoption hinges on the premise of acceptance of modern momentary theory, which means that the governments will print all the necessary money. In comparison to the capitalist, the central planner has to only be concerned with the availability of labor, not its cost or utility. These are fancy words, but what this means for you is that your labor might be used to advance projects, even if they are not producing for society more food or energy or industrial products. Your labor can be just wasted, and since it is its availability, which is the primary concern of the central planner, it might be sequestered by the state, ergo you become a slave to the central planners. This comes about as a shock, but that is what logic drives us to conclude. I had lived in communist Poland for the first 18 years of my life. Though at this point the terror with which the system started, subsided, and the bureaucracy realized their system was inefficient, as it could not accumulate any capital, even to maintain the system itself, it continued on the path of full employment and with salaries which in their structure remind me of proposed universal basic income. You were given money not to go hungry and riot, at work because of overemployment, you were asked to coast till the end of the day. The popular saying was whether you stand or lie down 2,000 or do, and they pretend to pay us, and we pretend to work. In short the worker's paradise was at the least its purgatory. I hope that you can draw the final conclusion.